you know, today, you know, let me just say it this way. I feel like a fucking slave. Yeah, point blank period, I feel like a fucking slave. I've never missed a doctor's appointment since I've had my transplant. I've been late, yeah. I'm, I'm late to everything, so that's that's no big deal. But I've never missed a doctor's appointment. And today I'm missing my very first one. And this is actually with the transplant team. Well, the, the ne transplant nephrologist. And I'm mad about it because of my, jo my job, basically. My, my fucking job. Like... <sighs> Like I, t I told my boss, I was like, "Hey, on the sixth of you know the of sixth of June, I have this doctor's appointment, um, you know, with with my nephrologist." I was like, "You know, I can't write the hours that you that you have me scheduled." I said, "But you know, I can come in later. I can come out one o'clock in the afternoon." He's like, "Okay, no problem." I reminded him, "Okay, no problem." Today I'm still in this fucking schedule, and I'm the only one opening. So it's like, what the fuck do I do? Like, I really feel like I'm making the wrong decision by going to work today. And then, you know, I'm also, like, pissed, too, because on the 18th, which is, like, the day before Father's Day, um, it's it's a one-day sale. And, you know, it's supposed to be, like, the biggest one-day sale ever, you know, you know, for the season, whatever. Yeah, whatever. But um, my donor, um, my daughter's mom, Judy, and I, we're doing, like, this interview with a, with a YouTube show um, to raise, you know, to raise awareness you know, about, you know, um, organ donation and, you know, to tell our story. And I keep telling my boss, like, hey, you know, I need this time off. I need this time off. I need to be off for the day. And he's like, well, it's a one-day sale. I, I don't care if it's a one-day sale. I really don't care. Like, I need to be off. I said, this woman does not live here in New York. She lives in she lives in Colorado. So, I mean, she's, I mean, she brought a ticket and, you know, she, you know, there's, there's, there's logistics to take care of. And... You know, it's, it's just it's just fucked up, but like, but yet, let let any of the men just have anything personal to do. Trust me, like they're they're taking off. Yo, there's yet another accident. Is it gonna get clear? There's yet another accident on the way to work. Basically, basically, there's two cars over there. They must have crashed into each other and ran into the pole. Child, let me tell you this job. Today it was it was trying me. It was trying every last bit of energy I had. But the day is almost over. This white balance is off. It's, I don't know why I can't fix it. Whatever. But it's the day is almost over. I almost had a, a, a meltdown like nuclear. Hell, like I snapped at a manager and didn't even care. Then she came over. She's like, "What's going? Like, listen, you were in the way. You caught it by accident. I'm sorry." But I'm getting ready to go home. We're back here trying to make sure the book is right before we leave, so I think we're good. I deadass felt like I worked hard as fuck for nothing. I made 20% of my fucking goal. I never not make my goal. Well, let me not say that. I never leave with that little bit of goal completed like I only did 20% of my goal um I didn't get to really you know vlog you know much today but um this is what it was basically this morning I was by myself like this morning there was nobody here and I did have to like you know threaten my job like yo get somebody to help me or I'm fucking leaving like that's all it is to it I said y'all got 10 minutes I get in 15 they got somebody to come help me um you know, I thought to myself, you know, enough about work. Like, I'm going to leave work drama at, at, at work. It's, it is, you know, it's going to be there when I go back. So I'll just forget about it. Because I don't want to ruin, you know, the rest of my night, the rest of my day. But what I need to focus on, though, is this trip. Um, I have one more day, and then I'm, I'm flying out to St. Louis. Um... But then I'm not really gonna be in St. Louis. I'm gonna be like in the boondocks. Like, because like I really like looked at where the hotel and stuff is. Like, we're in like the sticks. Um, 
my cousin Aaron, uh, he's you know grad he's like graduating from like the from boot camp or whatever, and you know we're gonna go out there and support him, and I'm excited to go, <laughs> but I'm just like, well, damn, we're gonna be in the fucking bricks, like in the fucking sticks, like, what the fuck is it to do out there? And then you know you know my aunt or whatever she put me in charge of entertainment. Like, you know, she's like, well, let's, let's, you know, make sure, let's go out and go out to eat and stuff like that. And I would be okay with that had we stayed here in New York. Because, like, yeah, you know, I, I know places to go and, you know, whatever. But we're going to a state that I've never been to. And then we're going to the bricks. The, the, the bricks. The sticks. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting the bricks from. I have no idea where I'm getting the bricks from. But we're going to the sticks. So, like, I, I you know, I, I Googled the area and there's not a lot to do around there. Um... Now, the time frame that we're going to be there, there is, like, one club. <laughs> so, maybe we can check that out. But, like, as far as, like, right, the restaurants and stuff, I think, like, the the biggest thing they have there is a Buffalo Wild Wings. So, I'm like, well, I told her, like, well, do this. Check to see if the hotel that we're staying at has a restaurant inside. I said, because that seems like that's going to be the wave. Um... Now, the other thing I thought about, too, I was like, you know, not for nothing. I said, you know, we're going for a couple of days. I said, my cousin is leaving right after graduation. I said, so why don't we just check out early from our hotel? And maybe we'll get a hotel, like, in the city. Or at least go hang out in the city. Something, I don't know. Because, yeah. yeah we're going to be, pretty, pretty much, we're going to be in a one horse town without the horse so i'm like what the fuck but yo i'm excited about this like i got a i got a list you know prepared like i haven't started packing yet like typical me like you know late to everything so i haven't started packing yet but like i made a list of okay well this is what i'm gonna need like like i still have to go shopping so tomorrow i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna leave early for work but I'm going to go to Walmart, get, like, all my, like, travel size, like, you know, toiletries and stuff like that. Um, try and find a pair of sneakers, because I'm wearing one pair of sneakers. I'm taking one pair of sneakers, and I'm taking one pair of shoes. Um, the shoes are for the, for the graduation. The sneakers, I'm just going to wear that the entire time with every outfit. So, I'm thinking a pair of, like, basic white sneakers, and, you know, going to make it happen. But, yeah, I'm excited about this. This is, like, my first trip since my transplant on like my first like trip in quite a few years so i'm just like excited about this thing period but i just want to share that with you guys um i'm gonna take my behind to sleep because i am very tired uh, and i think i'm gonna edit this thing in the morning and post it before i leave for work